Talk about being in the right place at the right time. A couple of Wolf County search and rescue members on a kayaking trip ended up saving a life. The two came across a child who was in danger of being swept down a swollen river. New at six, Sam Smith talks to one of the rescuers. With all the recent rain, the Red River is full and fast flowing, but not fast enough to stop John May and his friends from going out. Uh, you know, take advantage of the, of the swift water and do some kayaking. May and his friends are trained for those conditions. They're members of the Wolf County Search and Rescue Team. The group was in the last portion of their trip before they heard cries for help. And we looked up on the bank and we saw a family there screaming that their son had actually been taken by the river and was, you know, in the river at that point. They saw a boy that was around 12 years old holding on to a tree limb in the river with water up to his neck. Uh, he appeared to have some of the beginning signs of hypothermia. He was shivering uh, very badly. Um, you know, eventually that could lead to losing your grip on the tree and, you know, floating on downstream. May and his friends used their training for this impromptu rescue to save the boy. They were definitely in the right place at the right time. Uh, it's always a rewarding feeling, you know, when you're able to help someone, and that's really what, you know, all these teams are about, are just helping people to find themselves in a bad situation. So it was certainly nice to, for them to acknowledge that uh, we had helped their child out in that uh, very bad situation, and we were certainly happy to do so. In Powell County, Sam Smith, WKYT. Search and rescue workers say people should never stand closer than 10 feet to a flooded riverbank.